Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those who already know me and for those who don't, welcome. My name is Michael, I'm a French guy reacting most of the time in English to music videos that I'd like to share with you and some that I'd like to discover with you. And today it's going to be a discovery because this is a cover from Celine Dion. The song is called My Heart Will Go On and the singer today will be Morissette Amon. So you know how much I appreciate this singer, her voice, uh, her technique, her physicality, the way she convey emotions and everything. So I think that My Heart Will Go On should be a perfect song for her. Um, I think that it was a, it's a live performance recorded on the Hollywood in Manila Valentine concert. Um, and uh, so, yes, uh, it's going to be really interesting to and beautiful probably to listen to Morissette singing this really famous song from Titanic. And uh, yes, if you already know this performance, if you've already listened to it, uh, I hope you're going to enjoy doing it again with me and if you're just like me discovering this performance uh, i prob i'm probably sure we're gonna have a good time together so let's go with morissette Amon singing my heart will go on
Okay. So yes, she mastered it uh, as usual really easily. And what I like is that uh, she's got a real different kind of voice compared to Celine Dion, of course, because I think that Celine Dion has a tighter voice, you know, just more like, a, you know, a cut through voice, like a blade, pretty sharp. And, uh, and that she obviously controlled perfectly. She, she, she used to be an amazing singer and, uh, but Morissette has a more, I say, I would say warm voice, more, uh, how to say broad voice. Uh, it's difficult for me because I'm not vocal coach. So I'm trying to describe how I feel your voice, uh, her voice is. Uh, and so this kind, this brings another, uh, kind of emotion atmosphere to this song. Uh, and, uh, I love how she plays with dyn dynamics, dynamics and how, you know, she, she pulled back and then, you know, push really strongly, um, uh, on her notes. And obviously at the, at the end, when there is kind of this climax and she has to, to push a lot and to give a lot of power to her notes. She, she knows how to do it perfectly. And she, she did. And, uh, I like also a, a vibrato. She's got such a control on that and she can, you know, play with that so easily. So that's, uh, that's amazing. And, um, yes, she was really stunning in this dress and, you know, really classy. And I, I really enjoy, you know, you've got all this setup and, and yes, the, um, the way she sings fits perfectly with the, the atmosphere or the emotion of the song. And, um, she's using, you know, really a song, sometimes you know, like whisper voice and suddenly she's going with a very chest voice strong and, uh, she's pulling back and she's, yes, it was a, a really beautiful way to use her voice just to give a lot of emotion through the words of the, to the lyrics of the, of this song. And, uh, I really enjoyed that. So, okay. Just let me know what you think. Did you prefer, do you prefer Celine Dion's version of this one? For me, it's those are, these are different. So yes, I, I kind of like both. Uh, maybe yes, I would say that Celine Dion's voice on this kind of song is a bit, maybe too sharp to, for me, you know, to, um, cut through, but yes. And I love maybe more sulky voice or maybe, you know, warmer voice like Morissette, but, uh, yes, uh, they are amazing singers. So yeah, it's difficult just to, to say one is better than the others. The performances are different. So just let me know what you think and, uh, which one do you prefer maybe? And uh, of course, if you enjoy my video, please remember to subscribe to my channel, to click on the like button, to watch my other video, and maybe to share my channel to whoever may be interested into it. Okay, so I hope to talk to you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.